in this case, the lesser exponent is the x to the negative 2. Now, here's where um, it helps if you've looked at factoring from the perspective of your dividing by that term. Or some of you may just kind of be able to, to figure it out um, based on kind of working backwards, thinking backwards. If we took x to the negative 2 out of x to the 5th, what are we left with? x to the 7th. How would you figure out it was 7? Okay. You can do it that way. You can look at it as I'm dividing these terms by x to the negative 2. So when you divide, what do you do with exponents? Subtract. So 5 minus a negative 2 is 7. Or you could think about it thinking backwards. Okay. If I'm multiplying this back out, when I multiply, I add exponents. So what do I have? Either way, you get to 7, and then, obviously, the other term is minus 2. So that is the factoring of that expression. Um, now, just as a side note, remember negative exponents can be moved to the denominator. So you could write this expression as 1 over x squared times x minus, or excuse me, x to the 7 minus 2. It, which technically means you could write it like this as well. Those are all equivalent forms. That's not what the question was asking you to do. I'm just taking a moment to remind you of some other stuff from before. Okay, so let's do a similar thing with B. Now, we've done this. If these x squared plus 1 didn't have exponents, we've looked have it in common. This time though, they have these exponents and they have negative exponents. Okay? So they both have x squared plus 1. One of them is to the negative fifth, one of them is to the negative fourth. We take out the one that is less. So even though 5 is a bigger number, negative 5 is smaller than negative 4. So we are going to factor out x squared plus 1 to the negative fifth. Because negative 5 is less than negative 4. Yeah, it's, it's outside the parentheses. Yeah. Okay. So what do I have left when I take that out? And I think it helps when I highlight. When I take out the x squared plus 1, we are left with an x squared from the first one minus... <clears throat> um, negative 4 minus a negative 5 gives us what? Positive 1, right? Subtract those exponents. Negative 4 minus a negative 5 is a positive 1. Now we can simplify what's in parentheses there. Okay. Are you talking about this right here? Okay. That came from, I took x squared plus 1 to the negative fifth out of x squared plus 1 to the negative fourth. So you feel like the extra one is just wasted? Yes. 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 In order to get to the negative fourth, I multiply x squared plus 1 to the negative fifth by x squared plus 1 to the first. I need to simplify this. I need to distribute that negative. And when we simplify, x squared minus x squared is 0. So really, this is just negative 1 times x squared plus 1 to the negative fifth. Okay. Because x squared plus 1 to the negative fifth That's what 
what was in front. Inside the brackets, it simplifies to negative one. We put uh, constants in front. It's a little bit more clear, right? Okay. Yeah, we can also use these fractions. Yeah. So last example, and then I'm gonna let y'all play around with some. x minus 1 in common. We're going to take out the one that has the smaller exponent. The smaller exponent is the negative exponent. We are left with 2x squared. Now, positive, so that's one half plus one half, which is one. And when we take it out of the second term, we're left with minus five. kind of depends on the context of the problem. Um, we do need to simplify what's in our brackets. Okay, uh, what is in our brackets? We get uh, 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5. Sometimes what's in there simplifies more. done to the last one. I didn't talk about it. Negative exponents move to the denominator. So this is equivalent for B, negative 1 over x squared plus 1 to the fifth. And we could also rewrite this one, get rid of the negative exponent by moving it to the denominator. Does anybody should have Yes, we can express that as the square root. We will go over that in this class, for those of you who didn't know or don't remember. Okay, but the one half power is equivalent to the square root. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. 